Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Godfather Part 2. We absolutely <laughs> loved Part 1. It was such a great learning experience. We got to see some amazing shots and the way that they were composed. Loved the characters and their intricacies, their relationships. There was a lot of things about the movie that really surprised me. And the way that they built upon the story and the characters as the story progresses. It was so cool to see uh, Michael specifically and his whole transition that Michael experienced from where we start the story to where the movie leaves us off. Yeah, I, I absolutely adored, like you said, so many elements in this film. One of the things that really struck me was also the unbelievable quality of the acting. There was no overacting or anything. The camera was so wonderfully placed. And then also with the combination of the lighting, there was so much in the eyes, especially with Al Pacino's acting. And we obviously know this in the characterization that Marlon Brando did. It was so impressive what they managed to do. It was honestly just a feast for like all the senses. <laughs> I absolutely agree. That restaurant scene it's Ooh. still one of my favorite scenes that we've watched here on the channel it's <laughs> it's incredible there's so many moving elements that just make that scene work from the sound design to the mm. way that they again they frame the character and the way they they make him look larger and and the way they they show you his doubts of whether or not he's going to go through with that moment and what he has to do and then bam they execute that that scene so so well it really that that's the moment where i knew this movie okay this is going to be such an incredible journey we appreciate you guys we hope that you enjoy and as always we'll catch you guys after the movie take care see ya there he is there he is the man michael himself I like the symmetry compared to the first one. Yeah. <laughs> the empty <laughs> chair. So excited to see where they take this. And a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Sicily. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow. We're getting his origin story. Mm. Wow, so he's experienced loss of a loved one. So early on. Wait. Oh. That was a that was a gunshot? Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. <laughs> At a funeral? That's uh that's rough. Damn. <laughs> Guess they don't pause for anything, huh? Ma ammazzasti a me marito. E pure figlio mio ranni Paolo. Ma vita, avi solo 9 anni ed è fissa. Yeah. O signore zio mio vi giuro che non fa niente o signoria. No. Oh! Oh! Vattene vedo! Vedolo! Vedo vattene! Oh! Ammazzatelo! Ammazzatelo! Wow. They got rid of his mom and dad. What a life for a kid. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta get that kid out of there. Yeah. Yeah, just hide him like that. Wow. I'm already loving the framing. It's stunning. Look at this. It's like a photograph. I was it's just beautiful. gonna say. <laughs> wow. Let's go right by them. Yeah, like, hey. Imagine the risk that man is also taking, yeah. right? Yeah, it's a great thing they didn't suspect of him. Yeah. Wow, uh, what a, man, what a way to start your movie. Damn, that's all he came with? Just his little bag? What a sight, huh? Hmm. Such a different world. Yeah, just with the score and the way people are looking at this, I can just feel, you know, the the promise of opportunity of a better life. The sense of wonder, right? Yeah. I'm assuming they're checking them for illnesses? I'm assuming so, infections and whatnot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a beautiful that. shot. The I way they show you that. the amount of people. Mm -hmm. 
Vito Andolini from Corleone. Corleone. Vito Corleone. Ah, oh, wow. And that's how he got his name. I'm so glad we get to see his origin, too. This is yeah. great. Tell him he has small pockets quarantined three months. Oh. Yeah, Oof. right. They used to quarantine them yeah. in the island. Three months. Wow. There he is. This is him. Poor boy. He probably has no idea what what is happening. Mirroring the first one. Hmm. Instead of a baptism is a communion. Communion, yeah. Festivities <laughs> again. What an event. Yeah. <laughs> they know how to party. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> That's a snack? <laughs> Some champagne and a sandwich? I love that. Mama! Ooh. Constanzia, finalmente. After one week? <laughs> Chaos. Anyway, here I am. Just one week late. Oh. Just one week late. Fashion. It's not a big deal. Yeah, fashionably late. Would you please welcome Senator Pat Geary of the state of Nevada and their dismissal. Senator. Yeah, showing <laughs> us that they, they were always involved with some important people. Mm hmm And also to thank that boy's family for a magnificent contribution to the state. Mike, Pat, or Kay, stand up, please. It's crazy how we get to catch up with him and all of his political affairs. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I love that. It's so reminiscent. It's like history repeating itself. Mm. I was under the impression that you and I would talk alone. I trust these men of my life, so if I would ask them to leave, it would be an insult. <laughs> they tell me that within a week, you're going to move Clingman out. Quite an expansion. However, it will leave you with one little technical problem. I love his pensive <laughs> state. The license will still be in Klingman's name. Turnbull is a good man. Let's cut out the bullshit. I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. <laughs> Price is $250,000 plus a monthly payment of 5% of the gross of all four hotels, Mr. Corleone. That's the business, huh? <laughs> Now, the price for the license is less than $20,000. Now, why would I ever consider paying more than that? Because I intend to squeeze you. <laughs> oh, he's well, being very honest. <laughs> it's clean country and oily hair. Dressed up in those silk suits. You try to pass yourselves off as decent Americans. I despise your masquerade. Wow. The way you pose yourself, yourself and your whole fucking family. Wow. Jesus. Oh, he's insulting the family now? Ooh. Mm -hmm. So everything outside was just for show. Well, it's just business, right? We're both part of the same hypocrisy. <laughs> but never think it applies to my family. But I want you answering the money by noon tomorrow. And one more thing. Don't you contact me again, ever. The disrespect. Oh, my God. I'm Senator. <laughs> oh. You can have my answer now, if you like. My offer is this. Here we go. Nothing. Not even the fee for the gaming license, which I would appreciate if you would put up personally. He's making him pay for the fees. It's going to be exactly like in the first one here where he's going to wish that this is all that happened. He's going to he's going to wish that he pays for that. He's better off doing so. We know yeah. Michael. Man, what a fantastic scene. Oh, so oh good. man, his intensity oh. just it just irradiates the entire frame, man. Yeah, how he's just sitting back so calmly. And just the detail in his eyes, him paying attention to every single disrespect, you know, the guy pointing <laughs> at him and him talking about his family, that mm -hmm. shift in his face, mm -hmm. man. It's ever so subtle, but it's there. You just see him like making that mental list. So it's like, okay, he insulted me this way, this way, this way, this way. I would totally go to one of the Corleone parties. <laughs> yeah, they look awesome. <laughs> You know my lawyer, Tom Higgin, Johnny Orr? Sure. I remember Tom from the old days. Yeah. Tom is a real one. Mm. Tom isn't going to sit in with us, Johnny. He only handles specific areas of the family business. Mm-hmm. What are you drinking, Johnny? What is that? If you need anything, Mike, I'll be outside, all right? Just tell Rocco we're waiting, Tom. He seems worried. I don't know if he's very content about being cut out of certain aspects of the business. But I've been instructed to tell you that if you move Klingman out, our friend in Miami will go along. He's very kind of him. He's got his allies. Mm -hmm. One by one, our old friends are gone. Death, natural or not. <laughs> Hyman Roth is the only one left because he always made money for his partners. Time to make some new friends. Got it. Come on, let's have a talent there. 
He's like, yeah, we need some more Italy in this party. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, that's not it, man. I'll see my sister alone. Oh, the lighting. I was just thinking that. Fantastic. How are you, honey? You met Merle. He was with me in Vegas. I saw him with him. Could I have a drink or something? We're going to Europe next week. I'd like to book passage on the Queen. So what do you come to me for? Why don't you go to a travel agent? We're getting <laughs> married first. <laughs> oh, boy. Man. You fly around the world with men who don't care for you and use you like a whore? You're not my father! And what do you come to me for? Because I need money. Oh, uh, there, there it you is. go. That's the real reason. Yeah, he's livid. He wants her to take care of her kids. Now, why don't you stay here with us? You can live here on the estate with your kids. You won't be deprived of anything. You can have everything you want. Just not this. <laughs> now, why don't you tell him marriage is out of the question and you don't want to see him anymore? He'll understand, believe me. <laughs> he's right there. If you don't listen to me, marry this man. You'll disappoint me. Oh, we know what happened to his previous yeah. husband. <laughs> he means that. Ice. Icy cold. <laughs> I also love that her boyfriend is just there like... <laughs> He's literally there in the room while they're having this conversation. <laughs> Michael does not care. I also love how we get to see who he respects and who he doesn't. Yeah. Based on that one line, like, hey, can I get a drink? He didn't even offer him a drink. I was going to say, and he didn't even respond or acknowledge him. He just deferred it straight to Connie. She's a cop, she's a cop. 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 Might want to slow down on the liquor there, buddy. One of the reasons I love these movies is that that intricacy between all of the characters and their dynamic. Hmm. Clemenza promised them nothing. He hated those son of a bitches more than I did. Frankie, they feel cheated. Mm. They spit right in my face. All because they're backed up by that Jew in my hand. I know. That's why I don't want him touched. I want you to be fair with him. How can he be fair to animals? Oh, boy. I feel like that's going to be the, uh -huh. the driving force here. He needs to do business. Now, I have business that's important with Hyman Roth. I don't want it disturbed. And you give your loyalty to a Jew before your own blood. Wow. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. And I want everybody here to know, there's not going to be no trouble for me. I mean, he's not his father. He's going to do some things differently, but I don't think he trusts them. I he just needs to do business. Yeah, there's definitely a strategic reason of why he's keeping this Hyman person. The old man had too much wine. He better not make a move because it's just going to muddle everything. I like how graceful he is about it, though. He understands that people, you know, they get liquored up. They're going to say some things that are yeah. hurtful. They don't mean it. In five years, the Corleone family will be completely legitimate. That was seven years ago. Oh. Yeah, how about that? I'm trying, Doc. Mm. It must be so hard when you're that sucked in to make any kind of move. Yeah, to extricate yourself, to become legitimate. Yeah, because people, they got interest too, you know, they want to make their money and stuff. And there's people that are not going to want to leave this lifestyle. Yep. Get some good rest after that long, long day of negotiating. <laughs> no. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Break the kid's heart. Hey, can I have a drive something? Oh. oh! Holy shit! Wow! That was way too close. Damn, in their home like that? Okay, thank God she's okay. How the hell did they get in or were they part of the invited? I wonder. Well, part it's of the interesting. guests. It's interesting because she was asking why the drapes were open. So, Somebody so that had means to that sneak. She, yeah. She must have closed them before she went to sleep. Wow. They got a whole setup. Nice. They got searching dogs, <laughs> search lights. <laughs> it's like a little small base. Yeah. He's ready. Yeah. It's basically a base yeah. at this point. 
That is traumatizing, though, in your own home. That's mm -hmm. the place where you should be the safest, especially at this level. <laughs> it's that easy to sneak up on you. Well, that's one of those things, right? You're never fully safe. You're never really done. He knows exactly what she's thinking, and I don't blame her. Like, you got your kids right there, man. Yeah. That's not, uh, it's not worth it. That's the one thing that makes it not worth it, you know? <laughs> no amount of money is gonna bring a loved one like your kid back if something were to happen. Yeah. Mikey, you all right? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot I can't tell you, though. Mm-hmm. I know that's upset you in the past. You felt it was because of some lack of trust or confidence. It's because I admire you and I love you. Aww. Aww. That's why at this moment you're the only one I can completely trust. Mm-hmm. He trusts them so much he'd rather not having him involved in certain things. I always wanted to be thought of as a brother by you, a real brother. Yeah. yeah, he truly cares for him. It's a great relationship. I really like how it was over. written. You're gonna be in a doubt. What? What? I give you complete power, Don. Over Fredo and his men, Rocco, Neri, everyone. He's gonna give it to him. I'm trusting you with the lives of my wife and my children, future of this family. That's a great way of showing the trust. All our people are businessmen. Their loyalty is based on that. Exactly. Right. One thing I learned from Pop was to try to think as people around you think. Mm hmm. He's great at that. Who could it have been? Like, that's so. It's scary, it, man. It's like, a it's very ballsy move. That close to them. Yeah, it's very. That's highly aggressive, man. Out of New York. I, I don't recognize him. We won't get anything out of him now. <laughs> Can't use him for, for info anymore. Like the fact that he put nobody else in charge but Tom says a lot. Yes, it does. And I think it's the right choice. These shots are beautiful. The minimal lighting. I won't get tired of saying it. It's really incredible because you can still see everything that's happening. It's not mm -hmm. like it's all completely dark. There's specific lights placed in the right place mm -hmm. that allow you to just see just enough. Yeah. Where do you have to go? Just have to do business. <laughs> business as usual. <laughs> he has to leave again. Oh my god. <laughs> it really does feel like history is repeating itself. Yeah, there's so many beats here that are very similar. Hey. <laughs> Robert De Niro. We're gonna continue seeing his uh, origin here. Mm. I think it's great seeing these men and seeing how powerful they are, but tender they are with their own family and their kids. Yeah. It's important to show both sides of the, the same yeah. coin, you know? <laughs> They've got their eye on her already. Mm. Sit your ass down, bro. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Yeah, it's always tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh. He's like, I would not deal with that if I were you. This is his only daughter. It's reminding him of when he was a kid. Yeah. Oh, wow. This market is extremely... Wow. Very much like the one that we saw in the first one. I don't know if that was intentional, but that framing and the way that it just cut to that, it was like, wait, whoa. Last time I saw this, <laughs> it was yeah, not good. A, no. I feel like it must have been intentional. Everything about this movie is so precise. Cl very clearly well thought out. It's gotta be. Excuse me? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> the confusion on his face, <laughs> he's like... Oh, wow. Holy crap! <laughs> you're a bull, you're a bull. What a bully, man. Yeah. This guy, no respect for nobody. No, not at all. That's the difference between those families. He feels like a leech, you know? Oh, so he's always been good to him. 
Oh, I feel bad for that man. There's nothing you can do as a small business owner against that kind of power. I mean, they can just take it away. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. You're not on their good side. Oh. Oh. What a classy man. Wow. Although we know he could use it, he's still like, no, it's okay. It's amazing seeing New York in this era, too. Yes. They basically have this entire world. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh, just like that. <laughs> He's good at what he does. <laughs> that took no time. I'm sure they won't mind. <laughs> right. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> That's bullshit. This is not his friend's house. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's absolutely not. That's a nice carpet. Yes. You guys are going to be in so much trouble. I know. Oof. Uh, yeah. What the hell did he get himself into? That was such a great shot, right? The silhouette of the cop and the guy just holding the gun. That was great. The still? The yeah. way that they just do the stills in this? Yes. Brand new carpet, huh? <laughs> yep. Oh, nope. back to Michael. Such charismatic leads, both of them. Both they of them. They just suck you in. It doesn't matter that they cut, you know, X amount of years forward. And it's so fascinating how they're actually very similar in demeanor and in nature, like their yeah. temperament. They're more reserved, more quiet, more pensive. Like father, like son, I guess, right? Mr. Roth. Come in, Michael. Is that not Lee Strasberg? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I heard you had some trouble. You could say that. Important thing is you're all right. Yeah. Good health. The most important thing. More than money. Right, you can't enjoy either if you're not healthy. <laughs> I love that he's like, okay, got it. Up that volume. Oh, that's so good. Frank Pantangeli came to my home. When I refused, he tried to have me killed. He was stupid. I was lucky. I'll visit him soon. <laughs> what a line. <laughs> You're a wise and considerate young man. You're a great man, Mr. Ross. As much I can learn from you. Whatever I can do to help Michael. He's got some good allies as well. Yeah. What a stunning scene so far. What a line. He's, he was yeah. stupid. I was lucky. Thank I'll you. visit him soon. <laughs> <laughs> and Pantangeli is a dead man. You don't object? These small potatoes. Guess not. Guess he doesn't care. Nope. That's the green light. It's great seeing him also go and show respect and ask for permission before he does any of the action. So it's that old school consideration. Yes. <laughs> I, I wish you would have let me know you were coming. I, I could have prepared something for you. Uh -huh. I didn't want you to know I was coming. Exactly. <laughs> Now connect the dots, man. I know. Don't act all confused. You heard what happened in my home? Mike, I almost died myself. It was all so relieved. In my home! Oh, yeah. <laughs> in my bedroom where my wife sleeps! Where my children come and play with their toys. In my home. You messed up big time. Is it him, though, for sure? We don't know for sure, though. It does point towards him. Yes. He had a very strong reaction after their conversation, but... But that would be a perfect cover-up for somebody else to do something. My thought, exactly. Can you help me take my revenge? Michael, anything. What can I do? <sighs> that Hyman Roth in Miami, that, he's backing up those son of a bitches. I know he is. Oh. Oh. It was Hyman Roth that tried to have me killed. Explain. How does he know this? Is he playing them against each other? Or is he testing him? I think he's playing him. I don't know, man. My father taught me many things here. He taught me, keep your friends close. <laughs> put your enemies closer. Yeah, he knows something's <laughs> up. I want him completely relaxed and confident in our friendship. Then I'll be able to find out who the traitor in my family was. It works both ways, right? If it was him, he's still going to have to act in his, against his own interest in order to prove that it wasn't. And yeah. if it was, he's 
he's screwed otherwise. <laughs> it's interesting because by telling him this, he's making him feel comfortable. All we want to know is if he's on the level or if he's going to bring his boys. You guys lied to me. I don't want you to call me anymore. Your brother's not going to find out we talked. No. No, Wait. Fredo? That's his own brother, man. That would be... Oh, that is so suspicious. Yeah. Oh, I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm <laughs> loving this story. I need to know. He did say you guys lied to me, so maybe that all of that wasn't part of the plan. Yeah. But he still would have put him in that position regardless. Yeah, yeah it still looks like he did something behind Michael's back. You're not going to regret it. I don't like to see no Rosado. I'd take that as an insult. Michael Cook, <gasps> he says hello. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And just like that. Friend the cop, what the I did Oh, right on time. Are you open or close? Hey, I just come in to clean up a little, you know? What's the matter? Is that something on the floor? Carmine, no, no, not here, not here! Anthony! Not here, Carmine! <gasps> oh. oh shit! Carmine! Wow. What a mess you guys made of this. <laughs> wow. Great job, guys. Great job. That's that's one hell of a way to screw things up. This is going to escalate so badly oh, yeah. now. There's definitely going to be some backlash from that. I thought I could help you, Senator. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. Yeah, about Should that. Should have taken the deal. It's all right. I didn't do anything. It's okay. Mm -hmm. My brother Fredo operates this place. Now, if this had happened someplace else, we couldn't have helped you. And I don't know how it happened. You can't remember? Hmm. I passed out. They knocked him out? Drugged him? Yeah, that's what I'm assuming. I, I think so. Oh. oh! Damn, they hit him where, where it hurts the most. This girl has no family, nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as though she never existed. They got leverage mm. on him now. Yep. Yes. Now he's gotta do, he's gotta play by whatever they say. I wonder if they orchestrated this. I'm sorry, Mrs. Corleone, we're not to let you through. Whose orders are these? Mr. Hagen's man, he's coming over now. All right, well, I'm just going to have to speak to Mr. Hagen. It's his responsibility to keep yeah. them safe. He is not going to let them out of their sight. Yeah, they're basically on house arrest. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't let them leave either. Are to you be kidding fair. me? They almost tried to kill them. Hey, I'm supposed to stay in my house. No, we're in a compound. We'll be fine. <laughs> Am I a prisoner? Is that it? Not the way we look at it, Kay. All right. I mean, she must feel so trapped. She's just trying to live a normal oh, life. Yeah. And all of these things keep happening. Like I can't get my own damn groceries, but unfortunately, this is just the life that you that you're living, right? It's kind of what you sign up for, as messed up as it is. Cars back then were so beautiful. They really were. They put so much work into the designs. Yeah. I love old school cars. Me too. Muscle cars specifically. Sixties and seventies. Oh. I know. Beautiful. I love how this is mirroring when we first went to uh, Sicily in the first movie. We get to see some of the culture, some of the people, how yes. they live. Yes. Very similar. Very nice. Good I job. I mean, this movie keeps doing the same thing. Yeah. It keeps mirroring s some elements of what happened in the mm -hmm. first one, but in a whole different context now. Mr. William Shaw, send in the General Food Company. Senores Congo and United Telephone and Telegraph Company. Some powerful people. <laughs> Jesus. Miners, communications. Representing our associates in tourism and leisure activities. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what a table to be seated at. Solid gold telephone. Es un teléfono de oro masivo. Oh, wow. Ha, damn. It's a lot of gold. That must be uh, heavy. Yes. My staff indicates with assurance that we'll drive them out of the city of uh, Santa Clara before the new year. They're going to clean up the streets. Mm -hmm. We will tolerate no gorillas in the casinos or the swimming pools. <laughs> Oh, no. uh. oh. Yeah, it's the whole Castro situation. These are wonderful things that we've achieved in Havana. This kind of government knows how to help business. Hmm. They're going to make bank. Yes. At the time of my retirement or death, I turn over all my interest in the Havana operation to his control. Damn. Holy shit. Eddie Levine of Newport will bring in the Panino brothers, Dino and... I love how that's symbolic of the piece of cake. Everybody's getting a piece of cake. Yeah, everyone's getting a slice. So huh? smart. I wouldn't want it to get around that you held back the money because you had second thoughts about the rebels. <laughs> what? <I'm... laughs> He's got to control the way he speaks as well. 
Mm-hmm. Here we are, protected, free to make our profits without Kifa over the goddamn Justice Department and the FBI. That's a lot of heat off your back. <laughs> yes, it is. Michael, we're bigger than U.S. Steel. Wow. He wasn't lying when he said, uh, you know, his partners were going to make bank. Yeah, that's incredible that they've, that they've been able to expand all the way to Cuba. Yeah, in that short amount of time. Jesus Christ, what a trip. The whole time I'm thinking, what if somebody knows what I got in here? What do you got in there? Two million dollars in the seat next to me in that plane. <laughs> Two million. Some, uh, some nice Sheesh. cash there. Kind of nervous from the trip. Can I get a uh, drink or something? I thought maybe we'd, we'd go out together. He didn't offer him a drink. Oh, boy. I'm trying to figure out if he suspects of him. Mikey, I, I was mad at you. Is he going to confess? Oh, boy. Oh, Why didn't shit. we spend time like this before? At least he's going to tell him himself. How do you say banana daiquiri? Banana daiquiri. <laughs> Uh, Same way, man. Oh, look at his gaze, the way he looks at him. He must be so disappointed. Senator Geary is flying in from Washington tomorrow night from government people. I want you to show him a good time in Havana. My special, right? <laughs> Before I reach my hotel, I'll be assassinated. Okay. Okay. Was Roth and tried to kill me in my home. He acts like I'm his son, his successor. I mean, Roth will never see the new year. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's like a chess match at this point. I hope he was right this time. Who had Frank Pantangeli killed? The Rosado brothers. I know. But who gave the go-ahead? <laughs> I know I didn't. Mm-hmm. Now you know exactly what this conversation's about. You're in prohibition. Mm. We ran molasses into Canada. Made a fortune. Your father, too. I loved him and trusted him. He never trusted you. <laughs> I knew Mo, I knew he was headstrong, talking loud, saying stupid things. So when he turned up dead, I let it go. Mm -hmm. huh. Are you asking him to do the same thing? When I wake, the money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. Friend or, or an this enemy. This is hard, man. I don't know. We're trying to avoid a war here, too, you know? Yeah. There's so many moving pieces here to this. Yeah. It's very similar to politics, really. It <laughs> like, really is. So many moving pieces. He cannot afford to make a mistake. That Freddy doesn't mean cha-cha-cha, so watch out later on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. I mean, he's doing his part of the plan, right? Making he's... sure that they have a great time. Yeah, this is his uh, area of specialty. You don't know my brother Fredo, do you, Johnny? Johnny Ola? Fred. They never met. Johnny Ola. Oh, they absolutely meant. Happy New Year. Happy he's New just Year. testing everybody. You know what's great about this? It shows you his paranoia. At but first, I was like, maybe he's playing them against each other. But now it's like we are just as clueless as he is. Come on, man. Everybody stands. Just how smart he is, though, and the way he tests people is not obvious at all. Yeah. You can only see it through his gaze and sort of imagine what he might be thinking. Right. Johnny Ola told me about this place. He was going to break the crack Oh, shit. What a moment. Damn. I have to commend the editing, too. They know exactly when to cut back to his face, when yes. to keep us in the dark. What a stunning performance in that moment. That reaction is... That realization. Great moment for the score, too. He's getting worse. Quickly, too. As soon as he dies, if he does die soon, all of that is going to Michael. That's the last thing he said. <laughs> that is great. I love that. <laughs> it's like a, he's like a predator, right? Yeah. Or a shark, just circling, waiting. I'm going to get me a real drink, because I... Do you think we got part of the motive because he felt like he was never truly an integral part of the yeah. family or not as important? Do you think that was part of the motive they were trying to imply I there? I think so. He was like, I never really felt like one yeah. of us, you know? He always felt like he was adopted or something. <laughs> yeah, I think he never really quite made the cut, right? I'm sure this built up some resentment, especially over time. <laughs> Is this from natural causes or does somebody cause him to get this worse? That was my thought because, I mean, they had cake, drinks. 
Damn. Just like that. The man in the shadows. Yeah. He's like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> yeah. This is also a little bit reminiscent of the hospital that Vito yeah, was in, right? Yeah, actually. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, he got caught with the with his hand in the cookie jar. What is happening with... Are the people he has incompetent? Like, what the hell is going on? I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. Oh, yeah, he didn't even sugarcoat it. He just told it. Yeah. Told him like it is. What a- I love it. They even made us wait I for that know. reveal for that moment. <laughs> we were simmering as he was simmering with it's that like, realization. like, oh, that knowledge, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, just- I'm glad he just told him straight up. I know it was you, man. You know what I was just thinking? If Fredo ends up dying because of Michael, he will have just basically given him, like, the kiss of death. That is a great parallel. Yeah. You better look back. Fredo, come with me. It's the only way out of here tonight. <laughs> Both is dead. Fredo, Fredo, come with me. You're still my I mean, <laughs> you can't really blame Fredo for not getting in the car with you. The question is now, do you think Michael would have acted on it? Do you think he was gonna if he got in the car or... He would have just used it for leverage and make Fredo do all the dirty work. I'm looking at his past. I don't I it's don't hard. think he would have let it go. He's not been forgiving thus far. Yeah, but he also has a bit of a soft spot for family. The revolution. <laughs> and he's caught in the middle of all this. What about my boy? Did you get him something for Christmas? Oh, well, it's a little uh, car with an electric motor that they can ride in. <laughs> a little RC. That's a good present. He almost seems defeated with that knowledge, yeah. doesn't he? He seems genuinely shaken. Yeah, he cares. Yeah. Roth got out in a private boat. He's in the hospital in Miami. Your bodyguard's dead. I asked about Fredo. <laughs> Tell him everything's all right. Tell him. I know Roth must have let him. Maybe he didn't know they were going to try to kill me. Oh. No. Oh. So he knows that part of the story, too. Okay. What? Come on, what? Kay had a miscarriage. He lost a baby. Oh. Damn, that's heavy news. It's all collapsing. Jesus Christ. And he wasn't there for her. It's rough on her as well. Yeah. Three and a half months. Now can't you give me a straight answer anymore? What's it a boy? I really don't know. <laughs> wow. My son, the old father, the amici of me, prima palare coiz. Tu c'è dire l'amici doi. Chi non può che sei? The body language and the way they just yeah. communicate everything. Ma come fai tu a fare ci picchiare di meno? A voi auci un interesse. Ma solo ricordatevi che vi fici un piacere. Mm. <laughs> Siamo d'accordo? Sì. Si. D'accordo? There you go. I love that you see the essence of how he has progressed this business, right? He has his two companions. He has two people he can talk to, make a plan with. Yeah. Start seeing the way that his mind works in terms yeah. of organizing. Tutta sua famiglia ne sciò fuori da casa. Ma oggi è solo un caffè. Okay. Got, got some books. I'm making an offer. You don't refuse. Don't <laughs> Gotta make an offer. I can't refuse. Mm -hmm. Was wondering if that was gonna be uh, said in this one. Yeah. Let's make business. Ragione, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right, I this is not that bad. Take, yeah. <laughs> no. The disrespect. Just so lecherous. <laughs> well, he's playing the long game, right? Mm, you gotta. He's got the power, but he's like the complete opposite of who Vito becomes later on. I think this so, is why, though. He saw how he was and he said, I'm not going to be like that. Cocky, be, arrogant. Yeah. You know? He cared deeply about respect. That was like his... Yeah. 
And sometimes what's more important than money to him is a favor, right? When someone owes you a favor. That was his actual currency. Yeah. This is great because it, it also shows us that Vito was way more complex. I mean, we had an idea. Yeah. But this whole backstory is like, whoa, it adds so much more context. It really does. I love how the city <laughs> is such a big character in this. Almost bigger, yeah. I feel like, than in the first film, right? Yes. It's we more see prominent. more. Yeah, because I feel like I think this is the Italian district, right? I would yeah. assume. Because New York really is a place like that. It has a big, big personality, and sometimes it can feel like it can swallow you whole. <laughs> you learned, nice. huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's got the set of skills as well. Oh boy. Oh dear. Just waiting oh, in the shadows. Yeah. Again, during a religious event. Yes. How the music provides a tempo <laughs> as well. This helps build that tension. End of the line. <laughs> oh, shit. We're fine. Yeah. Straight through the heart. Perfect timing with the fireworks outside. That's what he was waiting for. Oh, oh, just to make sure. Wow. That was a great effect, too. Yeah. Well, nobody can really say he didn't have it coming, right? <laughs> yeah, get rid of that evidence. Great sound design, too. It's like fantastic. It feels loud when, it, when you're there. This is, they've been using this shot quite a lot in this movie. When we were yeah. at the, when he was a boy and we were seeing all the people. Yeah, that tracking. I love it because it shows yeah. you a sense of scale, how many people there is. It does. It's funny, it's his life in the future, but on a smaller scale. We see how he had to get his hands dirty as well. Yes. I love that imagery too, them holding yeah. hands, that partnership. I know. Wow. <sighs> wow. God. Wow. Yeah, that gives you a bad feeling, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there has been an evolution though in cinematography from the first film. This does feel yes. a little bit more dynamic. See, even this, there's still mm -hmm. some slight camera movement. And, and I feel like in the first one, there was more, way more static shots. Yeah. Still beautiful, though. I like that we still have the long take, longer takes, right? It kind of keeps you locked into the moment. Absolutely. Taking everything in. It's more about the framing of things than, mm. you know, leaving the camera like this in a static shot. I feel like they're combining way more elements in this one. Yeah. And the, uh, the head of your family is, uh, Michael Corleone. Oh. Did you ever get such an order directly from Michael Corleone? No, uh, I never talked to him. Okay, so there's, they can deny it if they wanted to? The whole Fredo situation. It's also everything else, right? While trying to become legitimate, trying to expand and then you miss also out on something horrible that happened to you and your wife with the miscarriage you see just how much weight there is on one person and yeah that responsibility of being there yeah for those things so miguel ministro de vena a dovana ne c'ha bossia vi pide non so come potremo fare wow look at the mannerisms okay for a note ah buon pomeriggio abbiamo finito caro in the beginning, he was the one that had to yeah, actually yeah. execute, you know, yeah. whatever his decision was. He didn't have henchmen. Nope. It's 
family, okay? M my apologies. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Just take it and go, man. Yeah. No point in fighting it already. No. <laughs> Look at him in his own little office space. <laughs> nice. Asking for permission wow, at all. Wow, is this how it's all starting? The rent stays like a before. All right. Cinco scuole ce le, va bene? Dieci ce ne levo, don't be. Grazie. Grazie. That sounds more like it. Can't seem to figure out the goddamn door. He is Somebody terrified. <laughs> help him, please. <laughs> oh my. What's incredible is the shift in dynamic, right? When they first met, where he was all arrogant, and now he's like, can I please sit? Wow. It shows you his, uh, how much respect he's been gaining, too, right? Yeah. Italian Americans have been pioneers in building and defending our great nation. They are the salt of the earth. They're one of the backbones yep. of this yeah. country. Very true. Is he saying this because he believes in it, or is he saying this because no, he's... No, I, I don't buy it for one second. He's a two-faced little shit. <laughs> So. The witness has testified that you are personally responsible for the murder of a New York City police captain in 1947. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's coming back to bite him in yeah. the ass? Is it true you devised the murder of the heads of the so-called five families to assume and consolidate your nefarious power? Yeah, it's not true, mm. man. <laughs> he has not taken the Fifth Amendment, so in all fairness, I think the statement should be heard. Tom, always by his side, yeah. man. I wish to have the following noted for the record. That I served my country faithfully and honorably in World War II. Right. That is true. That must buy him some goodwill too, right? It should. I remind you that you're still under subpoena, Mr. Corey. Damn. He is in trouble, trouble. with the law now. Aunt Angeli is alive. Mm -hmm. Look at the hands on Roth, he engineered it, Michael. He thought you double-crossed him. Oh. oh. Detective said he was half dead, scared stiff, and talking out loud that you'd turned on him. They already had him on possession, bookmaking, murder one. And All a right. big misunderstanding. Roth, well, he played this one beautifully. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's crazy how we ended up here, huh? I haven't got a lot to say, Mike. We have time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know all that much. I didn't know it was going to be a hit, Mike. I swear to God, I didn't know it was going to be a hit. You said that already. Yeah, but you should have known better, no? He said that he said that you were being tough on the negotiations, but if they could get a little help and close the deal fast, it it'd be good for the family. You believe that story? <laughs> yeah, man. He said there was something in it for me on my own. I've always taken care of you, Fred. You're my kid brother, and you take care of me. There it is. Send Fredo off to do this. Send Fredo off to do that. He wanted to have some power of yeah. his own. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. That's the way Pop wanted it. It ain't the way I wanted it. Wow. <sighs> Some, that's a great moment, too, for his yes. character. You can see how much he's been bottling all that up. Yeah. You can tell me about this investigation. Anything more? Can't believe how calm Michael is about the, all of this. I would have been so pissed. The Senate lawyer, Chris Dad. He belongs to Roth. Hmm. Good to know. You're nothing to me now. Oh, ah. I don't want to know you or what you do. When you see our mother, I want to know a day in advance so I won't be there. Wow. Somehow that's worse than death. 
<laughs> just completely cut off. Considering the damage that was done with his actions, I think this was merciful. He seems more level-headed in this than in yeah. the first film, right? Yeah. I don't want anything to happen to him while my mother's alive. While my mother's, mother's alive. alive. Yeah. Well, well, now we got our answer. He's yeah. definitely going to clean up this mess once the mom is Eventually, it will be cleaned up. What a great sequence, man. That was a fantastic scene. Also, when it comes to the acting. More people in a ball game. Than <laughs> <laughs> How are they going to squeeze out of this one? I don't it know. It seems like all the walls are closing <laughs> in on them. And they have so much dirt on him right now. I know, they do. <laughs> oh, that's someone important. Okay. He can corroborate our charges on enough counts. For this committee to recommend a charge of perjury against Michael Corleone. They're going to have to debunk all of this yes. and fast. Did you serve under the capital regime, under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I, uh, I never knew no Godfather. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Whoever that was made him change his mind quick, huh? Yes. Okay. You're contradicting a sworn statement you previously made to me in some... Like, nope, I forgot, man. I was in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago, that's all. Yeah, that affidavit is worthless now. So I, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael Corleone. That is that's it. what they wanted. Done. But, but it was all lies. <laughs> there goes their case. His name is Vincenzo Pintan. He is, I believe, his brother. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna find out what the hell happened here. All right, this committee is now adjourned. Yeah, you do they that. got it all, you do that. all under control. The children are outside. We're going. What do you mean you're going? We're all going to leave tomorrow. Uh, Rocco. How come she's leaving today? Michael, I'm not going back to Nevada. I brought the children to say goodbye to you. Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. I suppose I always knew you were too smart to let any of them ever beat you. She's done. There's some things I'd like to talk to you about. Some things that have been on my mind, changes I want to make. I think it's too late for changes, Michael. Seven years, man. My God, look what's happened to our son, Michael. You will. I don't want to hear about it. At least I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, all she wants is for him to be more involved, be a father and a husband. Yeah. At this moment, I feel no love for you at all. I never thought that would ever happen. Ouch. I mean, he had to know this was a long time coming, no? I feel like he should he should have felt that something was not quite right. What do you want from me? Do you expect me to let you take my children from me? That I'd use all my power to keep something like that from happening? Yeah. You feel differently. You'll be glad I stopped you now. <sighs> I'll make it up to you, Kay. I swear I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'm going to change. I mean, he sounds like uh, he means it, but will the life allow it, though? Yeah. And we'll have another child, and we'll go on. Oh, Michael, it wasn't a miscarriage. <gasps> it was an abortion. Oh! Ooh. Oh, shit. Just like our marriage is an abortion. Something that's unholy and evil. Oh, he's not gonna forgive her for that. I wouldn't bring another one of your sons into this world! <gasps> oh, oh my god, she's gonna die. <laughs> It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. Oh, she's so oh, dead. She's, yeah. I knew it then. Oh, he's furious. Yeah. Not with this Sicilian thing that's been going on for 2,000 years. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Well, you won't take my children. You're much. Shit, at this point, you got to think about where are the kids safe, though? They got to stay with whoever they're. Yeah, that's the question. Because the at least with him, the kids will have security, you know, like guards and other people. But he will always be stuck on the crossfire. Damn. That never crossed my mind that you no. would do that. <laughs> what a beautiful place. Color grading again. Very dreamlike, yeah. very warm.
I swear, some of these shots look like a painting. They really do. It's like a Renaissance painting, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, I'm experiencing this weird feeling of melancholy just because, like, you know, Vito started off this whole thing because he wanted to take care of his family, right? Give them opportunity. It's like there were good intentions there. Back after all this time. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Time to pay your dues, man. <sighs> How many years later? It's got to be... He's what, in his 30s? <sighs> oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be good. I wonder if he'll recognize him. Probably not. Mm hmm. It's not the same last name, so he probably hasn't put yeah. two and two together. Huh. He's not gonna tell him? Yeah, you heard that right. <gasps> Yeah. Told him my father's name is. And he said his actual last name right before yeah. he killed him. So he knows who killed him. Wow. A gun would have been too quick for yeah. all that. <laughs> no. With a knife, you want it to be up close and personal. Damn, he played it so well. I was kind of like, why is is he here to finish the right. job or? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's their mother, right? Well, you know what that means, Fredo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fredo. <laughs> Down with Mike, waiting for you to leave. Wow. Yeah. Can I see him? He's in the boathouse. I don't know what to say, because I understand Michael. It's like you screwed them over so badly with your naivete. You he know? could have died. I mean, he, he could have actually died. died, him and his yeah. wife. I'd like to stay close to home now if it's all right. Is Kay coming? No. Oh. Damn. Michael Fred is in the house with Mama. Michael, please, I want to talk to you. Is she going to try to convince him? Probably. It's her brother. She'll try to save his life or fix their relationship. Michael, I hated you for so many years. You were just being strong for all of us the way Papa was. Can't you forgive Fredo? That's his thing, right? He hasn't been able to forgive until now. Will this no. be the one time he does? Michael, I want to take care of you now. I don't know if he would go for that. Wow. Oh, so he shit. came to see Fredo. He actually did. Yeah, he did. Oh, wow. Aww. <sighs> oh, wow. No. Silent agreement still. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he will give him the forgiveness in the sense of, I guess... Not ignoring him. <laughs> not ignoring him, but yeah, he's still got to pay for his depth. Just the Just, look, man, gives us so much information in this movie. It's it's more efficient than the words, actually, yeah. in the script. Our friend and business partner, Hyman Roth, is in the news. What's it? What for? That plane goes to Miami. It's where I want it met. They'll turn him over directly to the Internal Revenue, Customs, and half the FBI. It's not impossible. What's the move? It would be like trying to kill the president. There's no way we can get to him. Yeah. <laughs> if anything in this life is certain, if history's taught us anything, it says you can kill anyone. <laughs> wow. What a line. Now, Roth and the Rosados are on the run. I mean, you've won. You want to wipe everybody out? I don't feel I have to wipe everybody out, Tom. Just my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he meant. <laughs> that part was implied, you know? <laughs> You're going to come along with me in these things I have to do or what? Because if not, you can take your wife, family, and your mistress. Move them all to Las Vegas. And the mistress. I'm dead. Why do you hurt me, Michael? I've always been loyal to you. I mean, what is this? I want uh, to stay. See your style. <laughs> oh, he's going to stay. I mean, he's been loyal all this time. He has been. You know what's interesting about him forgiving his brother is that he mentioned earlier on in the movie that you should keep your enemies closer. Hmm. This will be okay, Frankie. Don't worry. Did my brother go back? Yeah, don't worry. He's ten times tougher than me, my brother. They weren't lying. Hmm. The suspense is killing me. I know. <laughs> they, uh, they went home and sat in a hot bath, opened up their veins, and bled to death. And that was it. Yeah. Don't worry about anything, Frankie Five. Thanks, Tom. 
Thanks. Is that what's going to end up happening to him? I wonder. Mm. This is uh, foreshadowing. I was just thinking about that too. You're so right. Kay, you, you have to go. So pretty. Kay, will you please hurry? He's coming. Yeah, so she just gets some visitation. Anthony, kiss mama goodbye. Anthony, will you kiss your mother goodbye? Well, it's already doesn't... happening. Yeah. It's kind of sad oh. that his immediate family got split up like that. Yeah. Please, kiss me once. Oh. oh. E he just carries this energy, I man. Know, He's so it's... imposing sometimes. <laughs> it's almost like radioactive, you know? <laughs> just like that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even hesitate or look back. That no. was it. I feel like that hurts so much more when you just don't say anything and he just wordlessly closes the door on her. Yeah, both him and uh, Vito show you the power of silence, right? Sometimes just staying yeah. quiet will do the work for you. I mean, at least she gets visitation with the kids, but I feel like it's a horrible situation if she would were to stay. It's horrible if she were to leave. Yeah. So... We're going fishing. No, Michael wants to take him to Reno now. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, man. I feel like Michael right now. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> Mr. Roth, do you understand I'll have to take you into custody? Yes. They know exactly what would happen. Hey, Frankie, come on out. Let's play some hearts. Yep. Nope. No Frankie, I think. Mm. I think Fredo's time is also up. I think so. I came home to vote in the presidential election because they wouldn't give me an absentee ballot. Uh -huh. Oh, just like that. Uh. Oh, I oh. called it. Yeah, yeah. They were foreshadowing it. Damn. Oh my God. They're all paying the price. Is he literally saying his own last rites? <laughs> yes, he is. Uh. Yeah. Again, very similar to the finale of part one. I feel bad for Fredo because he made this one mistake. Yeah. He clearly cared for the family, but the mistake he made was unforgivable, man. It put everybody in danger. Yes, it did. And there was a lot of resentment there that was bottled up that he should have spoken about earlier. Yes. Shit, man. How did we end up here again? It's so tragic, huh? All that power and this you're is... still lonely. Yeah. Hey, come on, pay attention. Let's get a friend Carl This is my stepbrother, Tom. Aww. Mm. Oh, that droopy thing over there, that's my brother Mike. We call him Joe Collin, you know what I mean? Talk to each other. Damn. Damn, this was a long time ago. They were all there still. Where's your father? Took him on a wild goose chase Christmas. Well, let's see that thing. Look at how packed that table was, man. Yeah. yeah. It's like, come on, don't touch the antipasto till Pop sees hey, it. Come on. It's not ugly. <laughs> Invest, invest their lives for their country. Country ain't your blood. You remember that. I don't feel that way. Well, if you don't feel like that, why don't you just quit college and go to go to join the army? I did. <laughs> he did already. <laughs> yeah. I enlisted in the Marines. Ah, uh, this is when he was breaking down the news to them. Oh. Now, many times he and I have talked about your future. Talk to my father about my future. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. Like, Mikey, he has high hopes for you. I have my own plans for my future. He was independent even back then. Mm-hmm. Made his own decisions. Stupid. It's so sad. The way they exited it and now he's the only one left at the table. Uh, yeah. That's... It's sad how he lost very sad. everybody. He didn't go see his dad. Wow. Man, what a way to end a movie. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. That was a 
tragic way to end it. <laughs> in such a such a dark note, right? Like yeah. it shows you all of the sacrifices that he's also had to make in order to keep this lifestyle <laughs> afloat. And it just makes you wonder if it's even worth it if there's nobody mm -hmm. to celebrate it with, yeah. right? Especially when you you know when you see them at the dinner table on the birthday it's siblings you know it's family you're gonna you're gonna fight with each other you're gonna get on each other's nerves but at the end of the day you're still family right yeah. it just broke my heart a little bit when i saw all the siblings back together again before all of this before all this started and it was it was such a stark contrast to how this entire movie has been going i feel like the ending of the first one leaves you with that promise of okay this is doesn't feel like it might go in the right direction now you know like you kind of feel like michael's fate is sealed from that point on and with this one it's just like everything that he tried to avoid mm -hmm. sort of at the end of the day the whole war right between families would have caused him to lose a lot of family members and despite right. him doing his best to avoid that by mm -hmm. doing all these intricate deals with people and trying to keep order and you yeah. know, and everybody's plans here, keeping those relationships afloat. And mm. it still didn't work. You know, he lost his wife. He lost his future son. In turn, obviously, he kicked his wife out of his family now. So that's not happening. The kids are not going to have a, a, a that relate that dynamic, right? That yeah. family dynamic of having a mom and a dad in the same household. That's not happening. He lost a brother and his, his bodyguard, which was a family friend for a long yeah. time. There's so much that he's lost in this. And it just makes you go, man, seeing him alone yeah. there and just pensive. Surely he can't be thinking that all of this is worth it at the moment. No. I sense so much just sadness and doubt in there, you know, and it's one of those things where he has these values, the Corleone family, like they have these values and they, they stand by them. Right. And it's about loyalty and family and honesty and truth. Absolutely. This backstabbing, that's, that's not their way, but especially for them, it's so ingrained. It came from the godfather right from his father vito and you see him trying to pass it on to other people you see him trying to make sure that everyone under his wing is safe but it's just one of those things man like there's there's just gonna be that one person that no matter how much you take care of them they don't want it like yeah. with fredo right he's like he didn't want it because he's his older brother if you want your own independent path then go create it but you know you can't just do what you do yeah you can't backstab your and, own brother knowing in the you know that he is in that position yeah. too man and you can't just say like i didn't know you should Surely. know better you you grew up in this yeah as much as you're not in it you grew up in this you should have known better if you did then you're criminally stupid yeah exactly the thing is if he actually believed that nothing bad would happen from mm -hmm. this then he then automatically we all know that Vito made the right decision yeah. in not making him the Facts. person in charge. Because, like, come on, you can't be that yeah. dumb. You know, yeah. part of me feels like he lied to himself, I believe. I think yeah. he knew, maybe even going as far as hoping that maybe, you know, this would mm -hmm. take care of Michael. And then when it mm -hmm. didn't happen, that's when it, it sunk in. You know, mm -hmm. like, he felt truly bad. But then it begs the question, do you feel bad because you almost killed your brother? Or do you feel bad because of the consequences right. you're going to have to pay now? I absolutely love this movie. I can't decide if i like it more than the first one or as much as the first one yeah and i'll i'll, I'll say why the f it, they feel very different and yes. i feel like this one expands upon the first one in ways mm -hmm. that make me enjoy the first one even more mm -hmm. now in retrospect if i went to watch the first one i feel like i would enjoy which i already did but i would <laughs> enjoy the, the character of vito corleone even more yeah knowing now everything that happened but the thing is this movie wouldn't work without the first one establishing all of this family dynamic so I feel like these two are are one big story because it, it is that's exactly what it is. It's I, I don't think it's ever meant to be picked apart and say, oh, two is better than one or one is better than two. I feel like two would not work at all if we didn't have a yes. base to mm -hmm. begin with, which one established and they had to take their time establishing that dynamic in order for everything else to, to be as efficient as it is. What two did again is expand on, on that first movie, which I think is it's not an easy thing to do to come in after that and say, you know what, we're going to take our time to expand on something that was already pretty much perfect. How can we add without ruining it? Right. How can we <laughs> add something without people going like, Oh my God, one was great until the second movie came out and then they kind of screwed everything up. Right. That's sort of a thing that can happen with prequels when you were, you're not careful, but I think they managed it here incredibly well, man. It felt like a completely different movie, two different things happening at once. Every time we jumped to Vito, just seeing his origin and the atmosphere and the vibe that they, how they shot it even felt very different to the way that they were presenting the present with Michael. Mm -hmm. 
but there's still a lot of parallels there where you can see the early days of both of them as the Godfather yeah. and see how one was doing things versus how Michael was trying to handle things. And of course, things now are way more chaotic than they used to be when Vito was starting off. I love uh, also his transition and seeing how people gained respect for him, how mm -hmm. he earned their respect and how he eventually became the person that we know, right? The Godfather and, mm -hmm. and man, everything that Robert De Niro did here from just the oh. presence <laughs> to... The mannerisms, he, you know, he did a lot of the similar thing that uh, Al Pacino did in the first one, mirroring, you know, how he was slowly becoming like his father. Robert De Niro had to do the same here, Just slowly in becoming reverse. into the, yeah, slowly <laughs> becoming the godfather himself as well. Mm -hmm. Great job, man. Great physical work. A lot of emotion through the eyes. I thought the acting is like the strongest element in these movies. The acting is fantastic. I thought the first one had a lot of techniques here and there in terms of cinematography. The second one, I love that it has a different feeling than the first one in terms of how they use the shots. There's still a lot of static, like I mentioned, but they also went with a lot of dynamic shots in order to convey that chaos in certain sequences or the wonder or the new, right? When you see uh, the young Vito coming to New York, you got that beautiful dynamic shot of it just sliding through the crowd and you see how many people there is there and they're all with this, like you mentioned, right? That sense of wonder and the new yeah. and new opportunities and they conveyed that in, in such a beautiful way. It's also that hope right? That hope for a better life and more opportunities. One thing I really appreciate about this is that we actually did get to have a backstory on Vito. It was so fascinating to see the things that he went through as a child and the things that have pushed him to end up in New York and how he slowly started building his own little world, his own little life, and then going from there, seeing opportunity. We're not talking about morality here, <laughs> but seeing an opportunity and making something of himself and eventually becoming so much more comfortable and then creating an empire mm -hmm. right because like we just ended up smack dab in the middle of things where he had already established himself and you know now it's like about being passed down to the family that adds a really wonderful context to the first movie which is something that i always love because like, you know we we love re-watching movies and you know i can already imagine once you watch the first one again after knowing what happens in this one i bet you there's going to be so many bittersweet moments and so many moments that just make you go oh my god if this hadn't happened we wouldn't have ended up here, right? Obviously, it's not quite catastrophic. You know, he, Michael, got himself out of a lot of sticky situations, especially in this one. Yeah. So it didn't end that catastrophically, but it's not necessarily at a, at a better place than at the beginning. There's and always a cost to pay. That's yeah. the thing. Michael got away yeah. with it. You know, he yeah. was very smart and intelligent. He knew how to move his pieces, but there was always a cost. Yeah. And he had to pay and it came in the in the weirdest of places, the places <laughs> that he did not expect. He was so focused on his enemy and, and that switched too. And, and, you know, as soon as he knows, he starts getting that feeling that Fredo could be responsible for all of this. And then he yeah. hears it from him. Oh my God, such a powerful moment. It had, it had me yeah. going, oh my goodness. It was that one what off comment that made him put two and two together. And it was just, just this. So subtle know? too. Yeah. He was literally yeah. face palming him. Yeah. Uh, you know, himself. He was, he was, yeah, he was doing the same thing as well because yeah. he just couldn't fathom. It's like, how could this happen? I don't understand. How do you do this? And then I like that they also took the time to show us Fredo's perspective where he's been living in the, in the shadows now of this, of his baby brother like that. Yeah. It must've been hard for him. You know, seeing that his father didn't choose him, if he, especially if he grew up with that in mind, right? If he thought that he was going to be the chosen one for that not to be the case, you can see where the guy is coming from. But again, you know, I think that what happened was only fair knowing the kind of person that Michael is. I feel like he forgave him, but he still had to pay the price, if that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> like, I forgive you, but I still have to kill you sort of thing because you put me in danger and yeah. you put my wife and my kids in danger. So it's like, I'll forgive, but I won't forget. Exactly. Type of deal. Exactly. Yeah. Man, the performances in this, absolutely incredible across yeah. the board. Cinematography was, like I said, great. That lighting scene with uh, the young Vito <gasps> yes. about to kill the, the mafia the, guy. The yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, what a great sequence Fantastic. there. With the light coming and going and yeah. you just see. It, and oh. the hat was just covering his eyes. Great use of light and shadows, man. Like Perfect. The lighting and the cinematography and how they go in tandem in this is just, it should be studied. <laughs> like It should be. <laughs> yes. and, and, you know, as much as I say, you should always try to strive for your own style when you're trying to shoot something and kind mm -hmm. of discover your own flavor. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of takeaway here, at least personally, where I'm like, oh my God, this gives me this feeling mm -hmm. and this emotion. And now I know how to convey those emotions effectively through visuals, which is a great takeaway from a movie because huh. there was moments watching this where I was like, damn, this looks like a painting, man. It's so beautifully yeah. framed and, 
and lit up and some parts are darker than others and it just makes you feel cold sometimes that's Mm -hmm. the best way i can put it It makes you feel like something is just not right and something is going to happen and it's such a stark contrast from the warmth of you know vito and his family in italy enjoying a meal you know there towards the end yeah man oh, man so calculated in its storytelling you know surprisingly emotional like you said in a melancholic kind of way it's the not like a tearjerker yeah it's 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 devastating it but in a weird sad. yeah it's empty yes it's not a happy ending for michael you know, no. it, it cannot be. Surely it no. cannot be. Yes. Like you said, he got away with things. But at the end of the day, the cost for it is just too much of a price. If you ask me, you know, it really was. But man, I see what you guys meant. I do agree. It's an excellent movie. Yes. However, <laughs> I cannot agree with the statement that this one is better than the first one just yet. I got to no. kind of simmer on it for a little bit. Yeah. But I think the second film, this part two, couldn't be anywhere near this good if part one didn't do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of the di- dynamic, like I mentioned. True. And now part two. One is even better, thanks to part two. So I think why I have to choose, I think both of these films together are the best experience. I don't think that I would necessarily choose watching one over the other one. I feel like I'll pop number one one day and then the next day I'll pop number two and just experience the whole thing, you know? Yeah. Because uh, this has been incredible so far. Yes, it guys, really has. Guys, thank you so much for watching this with us. We hope that you enjoy. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.